Welcome to Diabetech, I'm Justin, and today I'm talking all about the Simplera CGM from Medtronic. This is its all new continuous glucose monitor that is disposable. Previously, they had a device, the Guardian 4, which many people are still using, and even prior models, that was not disposable and pretty clunky. And this one is meant to be the simple era to bring you know, disposable continuous glucose monitoring to Medtronic systems. Now this is Simplera, there's also Simplera Sync. Simplera is cleared throughout Europe and actually in the US now for use with InPen, but it's not yet available in the US. So you're probably wondering, how did you get it? Well, because I'm in Europe. <laughs> I'm filming this in Spain, where this is cleared, where people can use it. So that's how I got it. I've got two of these. Uh, today, I want to just put this one on for you, take you through that process, and then take you through my first few days using it uh, and give you like a first impressions. Now, as I'm wearing this through the week, I'm also wearing a Dexcom G6 and a Dexcom G7. I'm going to be comparing all three of the sensors readings and also doing a blood glucose test to see how all of them compare. So I'll probably do like three a day over the next seven days and then create a chart in this video that we can look at and see how all the results look. This device only has seven day wear time. That's lagging pretty far behind other competitors like Libre who has uh, 14 and 15 day and Dexcom with 10 days plus a 12 hour grace period. There's also a two hour warm up with this, whereas competitor CGMs have a warm up time of either 60 minutes or 30 minutes, much shorter than this one. Although I do hear that the app for this one allows for overlapping of sensors so you don't have to go time without readings. If you've got questions about Simplera, drop them in the comments. Either me or someone who's using it already will let you know what the answer is and Give this video a like if you want me to do a full on review of this system. I think that the best timing for that would be after I wear two of these, cause I have two. Uh, but for now, I just wanna give you a first impressions and put it on for you. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing I had to do in order to get readings was use a second phone cause my phone is registered in the US. I'm using a Google Pixel 5a that is registered at a different address so that I am able to use this Simplera. I got the app set up on here. I had to create an account. I had to create an account in the country uh, that my phone was also registered. Got that set up and I am currently ready. I'm on the screen where I can set this up. So let's go into that. It says that I'm ready to insert and pair the device. So let's do that. Simplera, got the inserter and sensor. And then I have the sensor. Uh, so this sensor, it says, is approved for two to 17 years old uh, on the back of upper arm or the upper buttocks, but 18 years and older is just the back of the upper arm. So that's where I'll put it on me because I'm over 18. Okay, so I'm gonna need to get use the serial number um, and it wants me to insert it now. So let's insert it. I kind of want to space it out from the G7. So I've got my G7 here. I'm gonna put it right over here. It's always hard to do this on camera, especially when it's the first time. So when I open it up, you can actually see the needle in there. With this one, there's no button. You just kind of push it. So I'll put it right here. Okay, you ready? Let's go. Three, two, one. Okay. I There was a teeny, teeny bit of pain maybe, but I was just scared. And I would typically not hold my arm up like this. It's just that I have another sensor on, so it's kind of taking the place of where I typically put these. So I'm gonna push this down a little bit. Nope, looking good. Okay. That was simple. That felt like simple era. It is searching for the sensor. It found it. Okay, well that was, Fast. It wants the serial code. It's pairing, almost done. Yay. Sensors paired. Awesome. All right, we are warming up. This is a two hour warm up, which is a bit long, but I've got my other sensors on, so I'm not worried about having readings. Let's see how this week goes. I will kind of um, create a little moment here with all the information and experiences I had, and then I'll come back for a sit down and we'll go over what it was like. So I'll see you in a bit. One week later. 
I have officially worn the Simplera for a full week, seven days. I also put on a new one, that way I can start testing it again for the review. But let's get into how my first week on Simplera went. So the first thing was a two hour warm up, which I thought would feel really long, but I've been wearing the Dexcom G6 again, and I've kind of gotten used to the two hour warm up. Do I prefer a shorter warm up? Absolutely, but two hours wasn't so bad. But what was difficult to get adjusted to was the fact that Simplera only lasts seven days, one week. Whereas I've been wearing Dexcom for a very long time, it lasts 10 days. The Dexcom G7 lasts 10 days plus a 12 hour grace period, another half a day. And then you've got Libre sensors that have 15 day wear now. So it's no wonder why Medtronic is working on a new continuous glucose monitor with Abbott for their line of pumps, smart pen, uh, that will most likely live longer and potentially even be more accurate. Who knows? If you wanna learn more about that sensor and what it can mean, check that out with the link in the show notes. I've got a video for that. Okay, back to Simplera because that's what this video is about. For this whole week, I had to travel around Spain with a second phone, one that wasn't connected to the internet, but you don't need internet for a CGM to connect to a phone. So I had the Pixel 5a on me at all times, and throughout the week, I was logging down glucose levels from my Simplera, my G6, my G7, and a blood glucose monitor. More on that in a bit. One thing I loved the most about Simplera was the fact that there was like this widget that sat on my home screen of my Pixel 5a that I didn't even set up, it was just there, that had my glucose level. Of course, if I got any alerts, they would also show up there as well. The app is probably my favorite thing here. It is super, super simple and sleek and easy to use. The app is in a constant dark mode. It's not even called dark mode, it is just the way the app looks. Uh, there is no way, at least to my knowledge, to set it to a lighter screen. What I loved most about the app is that I could swipe through days and days of data and watch my line go in and out and stay in range, whereas on other apps, you really just get one full day of data. With Dexcom, at least, you have to go into Clarity and download all of your past days of data, whereas on Simplera, I'm not sure how far back it goes, but at least for the week, I was able to scroll all the way through and see what my days looked like. You also could pinch and zoom. It was so intuitive. And then be able to get closer in, see my data. And I could also double tap and that will bring me from three, six, 12 to 24 hours. It's a very simple app and that's kind of what's nice about it. Along the bottom, there are a few tabs. There is a tab where you can log different events. You can log carbs, you can log your blood glucose, when you took long or short acting insulin, when you exercise, or you can even write a note. These entries will show up on the app alongside all of your levels, and you can tap them to see what that note was. These icons and this information will also show up on the CareLink reports, which you'll have if you're a patient that uses this, you'll have an account where you can, it's kind of the Dexcom Clarity for Medtronic, you can see all of your data there. If you want me to dive deeper into CareLink and what those reports look like, let me know in the comments and I will include it in the final review. Wearing it for one week was completely fine. It felt good, it was very, it's very small, I barely knew it was there. It's a very similar experience to what I've had with the Dexcom G6 and G7, probably more like the G7 because it's about the same thickness. Uh, I do feel like the Simplera stays on a bit better than the G7, specifically the G7's new Adhesive doesn't work that well for me and I'm needing to wear the outer adhesive sometimes, uh, which winds up taking a, an, a bigger footprint. When it comes to the form factor of the applicator, it's very similar to the Dexcom G7s and way more compact than the Dexcom G6s was. I like to put these in my shoes, in my luggage. I'll put like one or two in each shoe. Uh, it's the perfect placeholder for it when you're traveling. Of course, I always carry one on my bag just in case. Now, I've worn the Simplera for much longer. I think I went as long as 15 days just to test it out. On social media, I made a video using a dummy Simplera. It didn't have a sensor, but it was the same adhesive, and that stayed on for a very long time. I think it was 15 days. So, stays on well, but even though it will stick on for that long, you can only use it for those seven days. When it comes to accuracy, I was expecting that the Simplera wouldn't perform that well because I've heard some people say that it didn't work well for them. I've gotta say, I was surprised. It worked very well for me. 
It was pretty similar to what I was seeing on the Dexcom G6 and G7 throughout the entire week. Granted, I did start the Simplera within the middle of the G6 and the G7. Uh, take that for what it is. I've got this chart where you can kind of see side by side what all the readings were alongside the blood glucose meter reading. Now, I took these blood glucose meter readings at the same time as all of the CGM readings. The thing is, continuous glucose monitors lag by about 10 to 15 minutes. So this isn't the best representation of CGM alongside blood glucose meter. What I'm gonna do for the review is I'm going to track the readings for this Simplera with the G7 alongside blood glucose meter readings, but I'm gonna take that blood glucose meter reading 10 minutes prior to looking at the CGM readings so it's a little more accurate. Simplera was giving me readings in millimoles and I used a conversion to milligrams per deciliter so it would go alongside my other readings and I always rounded up or down based off of the decimal that I got. And overall, I was very happy with the accuracy. It looked great alongside my Dexcom sensors, but not just that, the blood glucose meter was also very similar to all the readings I was getting. Maybe it was just a good day for CGMs. We will see as I start to compare this new Simplera with the G7 and the blood glucose meter, which I'll get into in the final review. So after the full week, this is what the Simplera looks like. Not so bad. It's Pretty nice looking still, not so dirty. This is the Dexcom G7 after its full 10 days. This is the new adhesive that's being used. And as you can tell, it gets really dirty. Now Dexcom says that they recommend or require you to put the overpatch on, but that would be much larger than the Simplera footprint if I put that on. Yeah, it's only seven days, but it does still look like very clean and nice. And it's really on there. I mean, that is, that is on there. I've got to say, I've, I'm a fan so far of the Simplera app. I love the G7 app as well. The G7 does have a lot more features when it comes to snoozing and using quiet modes uh, and things like that and the ability to make other profiles. I have to look into that more on Simplera. I will for the final review, but I've had a good experience so far. More to come. I also have been doing a lot of work to figure out how to get Medtronic sensor readings onto third-party devices like the Sugar Pixel screen, the Tidbit, getting them on a lock screen on an iPhone with Sweet Dreams. Uh, there's also a cool app called Guardian Monitor on the iPhone that I've been experimenting with where it puts my glucose readings from Medtronic as a widget on my iPhone. So stay tuned for a lot of Medtronic third-party uh, stuff coming your way, as well as a Simplera review. So the plan is for me to test out Simplera some more. I've got another week of it. I will write up a review. In the meantime, let me know what you wanna learn about with Simplera in the comments. I will try and answer all of your questions within that video. If you wanna see more content on Simplera, I've got a bunch on my social media. My username is diabe underscore tech. You can check that out on TikTok or Instagram. We've also got a newsletter you should sign up. I've got news coming over there, including news of the Abbott Medtronic sensor. I'll put a link to sign up for the newsletter in the show notes. We're also going to have some giveaways. And if you want to hang out with other people like you, other diabetes that love diabetes technology, want to talk about it, we have a community discord where you can speak with others who want to talk about diabetes tech. There's a channel for just about everything. So I'll put a link to the discord channel in the show notes as well. Until next time, I'm Justin and I'll tech you later.